<laughs> Welcome back to The Man in the Middle. I'm your host, Bill West. Today we're going to be talking about the last episode of WandaVision that uh, dropped last night, or yesterday, whenever it was. Uh, after the uh, sword-centric episode of the, la- of the previous episode, we're back to the uh, sitcom aspect. Uh, actually, it's like half and half, half sitcom, half sword. We actually start off with Monica Rambo. Uh, getting some kind of brain scan and the test being inconclusive, like they can't find see anything. And neither the blood test nor the blood test that they took. Right. So maybe Captain Marvel? Mm-hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. But uh, we'll see. So uh we go back and the ups the uh theme of of uh, this sitcom is about uh loss. Uh, loss of childhood, loss of uh, family, loss of control. Uh, the boys age inexplicably from babies to five years old. And when they're five, they find a puppy outside, and Wanda comes in, and they're watching it in the sink. And uh, her and Vision have a discussion on it, and they say that... Uh, you know, when you're 10, you'll be old enough to have a puppy, or just you're not old enough, or not mature enough now to take care of another living thing. And so the boys uh, age themselves to 10. And uh, Wanda and Vision look at each other and they say, Well, what, what can we do? This is what we said. So uh, they get to keep the puppy. And uh, while they're gone, or while they're doing puppy things, and Wanda. Wanda is helping deal with that. Vision goes to work. And while they're at work, they're setting up uh, new computers. They're updating. They're uh, figuring out uh, electronic mail. And, uh, there's a big joke about where do you put the stamps and uh, how do you use a letter opener on it. And we find out that the computer in the uh, sitcom is able to uh, access sword emails. And Vision reads reads one, and he turns to his uh, partner at work, and uh, frees him from Wanda's mental domination. And he says, "If this is hurting me, you've got to do something to stop her." And uh, Vision puts him back under. And uh, on his way home, he finds uh, Wanda and the boys grieving over the the dead puppy. Dead body of the puppy that uh, was found, and uh, it, it was eating azalea leaves, and but I guess azalea is poisonous to dogs, and so uh, you know they they keep t- asking Wanda to uh, bring him back. You know, uh, family's supposed to be forever, and the dog is part of the family, so bring him back. And Wanda says, "I can't do that. There are just some laws that you can't break." And uh, they go back, and uh, after the kids go to bed, uh, Vision is beginning to to see that not everything is right in Wanda Vision, and him and Wanda throw down. And uh, just as they get ready to have a discussion on that, uh, the doorbell rings, and uh, it's Pietro. Where did Pietro come from? <laughs> was Wanda, unless she did it subconsciously, she didn't bring him back. And, uh, of course, that looks like they recast Pietro. He looks more like the Pietro, actually, from uh, the X-Men. And it might be the, that Pietro opening the, uh, the gates to the multiverse. Which you know this supposed to this is supposed to lead into Doctor Strange two, which is called the Multiverse of Madness. So you know here we go. I'm really enjoying this. I like uh, there was a sequence where they show uh, Wanda going into Sword Headquarters, uh, kicking ass. <laughs> she goes to get uh, Vision's body. And we find out she, you know, 
it's pretty much been obvious well, once this was actually a real life thing and not in her mind that she's reanimated vision. So we're, uh, we're, we're cooking. There are only a couple episodes left, I think, uh, two or three. And, uh, it's, I was really not too ready for it or not too happy to, to begin with, but now, wow. <laughs> One of my favorite shows on TV. Uh, later, uh, probably tomorrow, uh, Resident Alien. I'm looking forward to doing the commentary on that. So, uh, I'll get back to it. Today I'm closing out. This is my last one for today. I got a bunch of stuff to do outside of uh, the library. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you tomorrow with a new review of... Uh, I've got... Uh, Resident, Resident Alien. Uh, I believe I, knew, I have the new Flash Gordon on vinyl coming in tonight. We'll talk about it tomorrow. And whatever comes up between now and then. All right, you guys take care. If you like what you see, please hit that like button. Uh, hit subscribe and uh, share this on social media. Talk to you soon. Bye.